Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm Martin and this is for old 4x4, get right in a minute. Um, we're just going to do a, a new route now. Um, we've never done before, but we are near Tintin Abbey on the Wye River. Um, and we're just going to see what comes up. Hopefully it's a bit exciting, um, but I'm sure we're going to find out very soon. So see you in a sec. Okay, so today, if I can get into it, we're going to try these valves. <coughs> These valves <laughs> that you can't get into. All oh, no. ah, right, okay, got into it now. Um, I pre pressured for 20 psi, which I tend to run in my tyres uh, when I go green laning, off roading, whatever. So these are them. <clears throat> and all, literally, all you do is you screw, you pre pressurize them um, to 20 psi, and then literally just take the dust caps off. And screw these straight on and apparently that puts it down to 20 psi and they're nice and cheap I think they're only about 10 11 quid 13 quid um which just saves you messing about so we're going to try them it might work it might not so we'll give it a go all we do is we take dust cap off dead simple when you're turning it don't turn the top piece because that's preset so you've got to turn it at the bottom so you put it on, screw it on, don't you see that, oops, can you screw it on? Right, okay, so there we go, so as you can hear, that's going down, and we do that on all four wheels. Struggling a bit there, kid. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> you know, hang on. Let me do. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh, that's going down. Going down this lane, um, we thought, oh, it's going to be quite a, uh, a subdual sort of lane. Um, a few of these irrigation poles, um, I'm assuming there's been a lot of water, so they put these poles in to sort of keep it off the track. Um, but, you know, oh, look, another one. Um, but it was, it, was, it was nice, pleasant, good surroundings, uh, but there was a lot of these poles. <laughs> um, but um, some of them a bit of a step, some weren't. Um, but as we go on, uh, we go, oh yeah, it's just going to be a, a basic, boring, not boring, but you know, a simple, calm lane. Um, but it does get a little bit more interesting.
problem here was that um, on these really wet, slippy, muddy rocks, um, both axles are trying to get up a rock step at the same time. Not the easiest of things to do. So basically, we had to sort of um, realign um, and get a bit of spot in. Where is it spinning here? Oh, is it to get up I, this I, one? I need to get up here as well. To get that one, right? So I'm going to cut. I'm going to come back. <laughs> I'm going to come back. I'm going to bring that back wheel up here because obviously it's catching on that one. Yeah. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to bring that wheel off. But I don't want to go off the edge there if I can help it. I'm going to bring this wheel up here okay, so then I can attack that. Had a bit of damage. Oh, there, look. Oh, all right, okay. Give it a kick. There we go. Easy as that. After the little rock step, um, things started getting quite narrow uh, and quite uneven. Um, so I was looking out for panel damage. Oh, hey, as you can see, it's a bit slippy still. Them rocks were very slippy, um, and I'm still climbing. Although the camera doesn't give it any justice, we are climbing all the time. Um, but yeah, it gets quite narrow at times um, and very uneven, um, causing the Range Rover to lean a lot in a very tight space is not a good recipe but anyway we'll, we'll see if we get any damage This section was very, very scratchy as you can hear, um, but the, 
that there was some rather large twigs also sticking out that haven't been cut back for a while. Too bad for this guy. At the end of the lane, we uh, decided to air up and have a quick um, hot chocolate to warm us up because it was a bit chilly that day. Well, this is what you've got to do, you've got to improvise. When you forget a spoon, <laughs> right, you've got to improvise. This is what adventure's all about, not knowing what's happening. Uh, what is it? I'm not quite sure where that's been, but if you don't see any more videos, <laughs> you know somewhere it should have been, should not have been. <laughs> and we're all dead. <laughs> That was very, very scratchy. Um, Jesus. Okay, well this is a, an apt time now to discuss the next... Uh, that was a great little trail. Um, busy little trail, I've got to be honest. Um, so, but it was great. It was really good. Really enjoyed it. But this brings me on to the next section, really. Um, we're now going to leave that lane. <laughs> As it is, we're going to go home. But in future, uh, the next few videos that we're going to be doing is um, it's a choice between two coatings. We're going to, going to get the P38 resprayed in either the very common known Raptor or another one, which is um, a very similar product uh, made by another company called Mipa. Um, I'm not quite sure which one we're going to use to cover the Rangey, because as you can see, after that event, she's got more scratches. It looks like there's got a lot of undercoat there rather than <laughs> than paint now. So it desperately needs to be done. Um, and then once we'll, we'll do a video on the process of doing the raptoring or the, the MEPA protection. They're both exactly the same, just two different companies. Obviously, Raptor being the more um, known one, shall we say. Um, but then after that, then we're going to do on the, the a video after that one, we're going to create a snorkel, which is a four inch stainless steel snorkel. Um, but obviously you need to get the Raptor in done before we do that. And uh, that'll be another video, uh, but it's just what's to come. So keep tuned, give us a like, get subscribed, touch the little bell so you get some notifications of when all this happens. Uh, there's a lot of things that are coming up. Um, it's... <sighs> There's a lot of things happening. Um, I won't say it all now, but as we go along, I shall release the information as I know it better. Um, but next one, hopefully, a bit of raptoring, do the process of the raptoring or the MEPA. And then after that, we'll go down, we'll get the stainless steel custom made uh, for for the Range Rover. Um, and they also, the company that does it, does bespoke stainless steel four inch for all vehicles and they are great prices you meet the guys in the video and then obviously when that happens i'll put links in there if you want to give them a call and you'll be able to get discounts through the all 4x4 um network just obviously by mentioning 4x4 and um they will give you a further discount i'm not quite sure what but keep tuned give us a like give us a subscribe get the bell and um, it'll all be coming up very soon thank you very much and we'll catch you on the next one see you in a bit Have you done the logo yet? Oh yeah, no, 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 I haven't. Well, put it in then. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing it now, I'm doing it now. Just put it in at the end with fancy music and that, eh? <laughs>